So this particular research paper caught my eye for multiple reasons, and there's a lot to go into with just this research paper alone. So let's dive into it. The research paper is called Expert Race, a Flexible Routing Strategy for Scaling Diffusion Transformer with Mixture of Experts. It's put out by ByteDance Seed as well as a Shanghai Tech University. Uh, and then so the first thing and then to talk about within that to me is, is that um, so this is a diffusion transformers model, um, and then they're scaling it up from like small to large, uh, in their opinion, but it's uh, like from like 1 billion parameters to 3 billion parameters with diffusion transformers models, which are uh, before this like small um, models, right? And then I like, kind of like the bottom line within that and then just putting it out where my first thought within that is just flat out is that that falls well within and under any sort of like um, restrictions <laughs> that you would put with and like sanctions uh, with regards towards like transformer compute, like anything like that or GPU compute, anything like that, right? Because uh, it's, um, you can run 3 billion parameters on, on consumer hardware like really easily. I can run 3 billion parameters on Google Cola. <laughs> <laughs> and for free, right? Uh, and then so it's not that hard. So the first thing that, that, um, is cool overall to me is that they're making it and they're running these on like 3 billion parameter models. Uh, so they're showing that you can actually like run diffusion transformers and the way that they're doing it um, for far less compute than what we're currently doing it for. So that's like a big uh, advancement one within this paper, right? The advancement number two, so it's an interesting model. What they're doing is they're creating a, again, it's utilizing the transform, diffusion transformers uh, and then they're creating a mixture of experts, but they're doing it within the transformer model itself. And then that is a very unique. And then that is so here, right? This MOE block block is what they create. And then so this is inside of the transformer layer where you have like, uh, you know, so the scale, the soft max, all of that, the multi-head attention uh, uh, and all of that is wrapping. And then you have this MOB, MOE block inside of it, right? Uh, and then so expert one, expert two, expert three, and then how this works. So there's a few interesting things within the dynamics of these experts. The first is, is that they, these experts are kind of competing when it comes to token assignment. So you'll have a um, input will go through, they'll go through the MOE block and then the MOE block, let's say, depending on what the input is, uh, either expert one, two, or three will win the token assignment from that. And then based off of continued uh, like iterations of that, the strongest expert will end up being the one that ends up assigning the tokens uh, for that particular instance, like that module, et cetera. And then the bigger thing here, they say directly within here is we replace the MLP unit with the MOE block. <laughs> so the MLP unit, the multi-layer perceptron unit with the MOE block. And then so uh, essentially transformers, like all of the modern AI architecture, all of the modern AI architecture starts in 1956, 1958. Uh, and then you have the Rosenblatt paper, Rosenblatt 58, right? That's the, the like um, submitted research paper within that. And then based off of that, Rosenblatt 58 introduces the perceptron. Uh, and then after in the 1960s, you have introduced the multilayer perceptron. And then everything from AI built forward is based off of modifying multilayer perceptrons. <laughs> and like uh, Transformers has is like the, the furthest away from that, but it's still based in, because it's still like a core unit, <laughs> the one that they're replacing was a multilayer perceptron unit. So kind of the most significant thing to point out within this, and it's very significant, is that they're replacing the multilayer perceptron unit inside of the transformer with this MOE block. So they're removing uh, essentially like all of the original like Rosenblatt lineology, <laughs> like the Rosenblatt DNA is like removed completely from this modified transformer block, which is very unique and interesting overall. It's cool. But the bottom line is, is that like this architecture is taking uh, AI completely off of the rails from anything else ever imagined before, right? So to benchmark it against anything to say it will or 
or won't work. Like, I don't think anyone on the world is qualified in this particular instance with what we're looking at here because this is literally brand new architecture all around. They're, they're stripping out anything that you would say uh, with historical major significance within this by removing that MLP block. This is no longer anything related to like the original AI architecture as envisioned, good or bad. I'm just pointing that out, right? So it, it, it's interesting within that. And then they give their math behind the models uh, and then their math behind the MOE models. It's very interesting. They, they have that uh, expert race is what they, they introduce. And that's what uh, is like that that is like the competition between the three experts. And then I'm assuming that's what allows them to get the size down so low with such good performance still. Uh, and then you can see it's it's it, like the, their expert race method is, is um, according to the research paper here, <laughs> very very good, right? Uh, and you can see these benchmarks, how it's uh, coming out. And then the interesting thing to me is that the size of these models, again, are, are very small, right? So uh, there's a chart here where they have the, the total model size. And there, yeah, here we go. <laughs> for, for like 4 billion parameters is the, the uh, biggest model that they uh, like test in this lineage period. Uh, and then you can see like, here's their, their pictures, right? They're not bad. Like, I mean, they're, they're good overall. Like, I mean, it's um, image diffusion for a lot less than what I've seen any other diff diffusion model getting this type of performance out of. So it's a lot of things to um, dissect and digest with this particular research paper overall. <laughs> Just highlighting these things. These are like the first things that I saw when I saw this research paper and it's extremely interesting uh, overall. But so uh, I appreciate um, them for putting out this research. Uh, thank you very much uh, ByteDance and Shanghai Tech. And then if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.